Hey y'all, it's the Southern Gentleman here. Doing something a little different here since I've almost got a thousand subscribers. I appreciate that y'all for supporting the smut. I thought I'd do a little behind the scenes video here just showing how the trainers work and things. I've been getting some comments from people asking me how the trainers work and how I do the stuff I do. Well, I'd rather show than tell. It's not complicated. Very easy. Modding is not as hard as it used to be. It used to be a little more complicated, but now it's very easy. As long as you have a decent PC, you should be able to mod. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is the framework, which is this right here, the Resident Evil framework. Basically, you just download it, copy the DIL file into your directory, and you're all set. This is the basic here. I only have one attachment with it, which is the Resident Evil Trainer, which I downloaded separately. And then I put those files into a folder and place them in the directory of Resident Evil 3. And then they combine together and work beautifully. Shout outs to Prey Dog and Razor for creating all this wonderful stuff. So this is just the basic stuff. I don't need to deal with none of this. This is for VR. This is not the VR version, this is first person. You can show it in cutscenes, but we'll look at all this stuff uh, in due time. But let's start the game. This is just a demonstration, so I'm just gonna put it on standard and just sh show you how you can play around with the game. So if you have a PC and you've been thinking about maybe trying to do a little more, well, I'll show you the kind of fun you can have with the PC, you can do a little bit of this with Xbox, but not quite as not quite as much. I don't think you can use the framework on there. I don't know how Xbox modding works. I really don't. So this is probably the most popular mod. It's awesome. This suit, very popular. It's got light reflections and everything. A perfect mod to display. So we're gonna start right here in Dream Jill's apartment. A place you don't normally really get to explore much. Because there's not really much to see. So before we even do anything, one of my favorite things to do is you go to the camera. You'll notice there is a global field of view, which you can take in and out, which is fine. But also, you can tweak the graphics. Let me get this out of here. I don't want too many of these up at once. Ultra wide. If you want to play with ultra wide, if you got a monitor that supports that, if you so desire, configuration, don't need to worry about that. Performance, I don't need profiling. Uh, let's see, graphics. Now, where is now the GUI? If you take this off, it takes off everything, and I mean everything, including the pause menu. Everything disappears, so use that with caution. Every single thing will disappear when you play with the GUI. I'm looking for, uh, here it is, free cam. So with free cam, now the camera, the mouse sensitivity for this is through the roof. I have to see if I can fix that, so we gotta take it kinda slow here. But with this, you can go out, Inside the parameters, but the, this damn camera sensitivity is awful. But then you could just kind of take a peek outside, you know. But it's better to do this with Jill herself. There is a way to make her be able to walk through walls, which is what I'm about to do in a minute. So yeah, but that's free cam, but that, that mouse sensitivity is outrageous. So let's go down here to the script generated UI. This is where you'll find all your attachments. Now we've got to make this a bit bigger so we can actually see the damn thing. And this is the trainer. It looks beautiful. 
So with this, you can character swap. I can go from Jill to Carlos, Tyrell. We might look at that, but I feel like it'll cause the game to crash. But for now, let's just access wall hack. Get that out of there. Now we can take Jill outside, I think. Yep. And then you can explore the boundaries and look at things you aren't supposed to see. You're not going to find much because you're not supposed to be out here. But it is interesting to see that there is another copy of... Oh, no. That Jill's walking because I didn't turn off uh, character movement, which is actually not a good idea. I probably should get her ass back in here. I don't want to cause any problems. Yeah, we got to turn. Oh, wait. No, you can't. There's no option for that. Oh, well. Gonna have to see what happens, I guess. Well, let's take a peek. Let's just take a peek outside her apartment here. Let's just see. So as you can see, the outside walls have no texture. The bathroom stuff, it all loads in as you get close to it. Whoa, hey, Jill, how you doing? That is so weird. <laughs> that is some wacky shit. And you can see these. Uh, the rest of the apartments have really nothing in them until you load Nemesis in. I'm surprised they made this much of the apartment, to be honest with you. Fully detailed, too. I guess to save on loading times here. But there's nothing out here. There's a few buildings over here for decoration. And a skybox, of course. What is that noise? The game may crash at any minute because I'm breaking the rules here. I wish you could move a little faster. I just wonder where she's going to end up when I turn this off. That's my fear. But I doubt there's anything over here. Just some textureless uh, buildings for backdrop. And another version of Jill in T-Pose way back here. I wonder why. Huh. I wonder why this makes so many different copies of Jill. And I made the game darker and creepier on purpose. So that's why the game looks darker. We got a some type of store here. Interesting. With cupboards and stuff in it. You'd never see this normally. So I wonder why they bothered. Fascinating. Coffee shop. Maybe this gets loaded in later. I think we're where Raccoon City is going to load in. All right. So let's see what happens when I turn this off. Oh, I'm just stuck. Oh, damn it. There's no teleportation. <laughs> I'm going to have to run my ass all the way back here now. But the game didn't freeze. So as you can see, her little apartment is just like this square in the space. Video game development is fascinating. All right, so let's get back. Trigger Nemesis. I'm not going to fart around too much while he's chasing us because I don't want the game to freeze. And she's T-posing, because we're not supposed to be in here just yet, because we didn't trigger the door. So, uh, wait, where do we go? Did we despawn her whole apartment? I think we did. I guess coming in here despawns the apartment. That is really weird. Holy fuck! Okay, so now we're back in the programmed area, so everything should be back to normal. It's a little dippy. The game's a little confused. That's all right. All right, let's turn this off. Oh, yeah, player invincibility. I'm going to definitely turn this on because I don't want her dying. You can increase the player size, but let's get out of this first. Before I break the damn thing.
No, Jill. Don't do it. You have so much to live. Oh, damn. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Yeah, that's right. Even I know that song. I think it's the most popular rap song ever. Gets worse. <sighs> Even the white boys know that song. Three more days, then I can kiss this town goodbye. Okay, so we have seen what Dream Jill's apartment looks like. So let's check out. No recoil. Wait, hold on. Player flashlight, player wet, physics. Dodge. Is that auto dodge? Skip radio. Skip cutscenes. Game speed. Make you can make her vomit on. And there's hotkeys for everyone, so I can I can I can hotkey all this. This is easier than what I had before. Infinite items. Oh, this is not a bad trainer. Huh, there is a lot. Oh my, look at all this. Boy, you can customize. You can make enemies invisible. Health modifiers. I'm like a kid at the candy store. Most of these seem to be enemy stuff, though. We're not going to look at that today. So you can give enemies like more health, less health. That is fascinating. All right, so let's see what happens outside here before you trigger Nimi. I've always wanted to do kind of this boundary break stuff. Let's check it out. All right, once again, I don't know, Jill. What is going on out there? The world hasn't even loaded. Okay, it hasn't even loaded in yet. Capcom's games work on a trigger system, it seems. Textures, events don't load until... After certain things happen. I'm sure a lot of developers do it that way. Damn. Looks like there's not much to see then. You notice when you step outside. She runs. She can run and move freely. But as soon as you step back in here. She starts walking again. Let's take a peek at what's out here. Spy on our neighbors a little bit. Holy I'll never get used to that. That's so weird. Oh wow, it's even worse in, in the... Oh! I swear this is like another copy of this. Is this where the dream one is stored? Maybe this is where the dream one is stored. I don't know. That is so weird. Not quite what I was expecting, I tell you that. And it's always better to turn this off before you trigger a cutscene or she might clip through some shit. All right, let's get in first person already. I mean third person already. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. All right. Who could that be? I don't think there's much more to see in the apartment. Let's just get through this. Hello? Jill, are, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my... Ah! Why garbage bags, Nemesis? You look like an idiot. He could have wrapped himself in condoms. He'd have looked less stupid. Okay, maybe not. Oh, 
Okay, so now you know I have to see if Nemesis is still out there. You know he's not, though. Let's see what's going on in this hallway now. It's not even here! It's gone! And the camera's wonky as hell! The the whole thing is gone! I did not expect the whole thing to go. Not only did Nemesis leave, he took the goddamn hallway with him. Boy, this game does not fuck around with loading. As soon as you're out of an area, that area is gone. No wonder this game moves so smoothly. It's got nothing to fucking load. That's smart on Capcom's part. I'm not even mad. That's really good game design. All right, let's go. Maybe I can save these people this time. I'm coming over there this time. No, wait! Wait, sir. Wait, I can actually save you this time. Wait, I'll catch you. I'll catch you. Oh! I tried. I tried. I wish you... I'm afraid to turn this off. I'm afraid she's going to fall through the earth. Oh my god, I'm so scared. She's going to probably fall through the earth. If she falls through the earth, I'll have no choice but to load. Let's see what happens if you turn this off. Oh, she didn't! What the hell is this? So they can walk across the air. This is one strange engine you got here, Capcom. She should have just fell through the... There shouldn't be any coll collision in the air. Why would they put collision in the air? Oh boy, not much of the city is rendered here. Just what you can see. That is so weird. I was kind of hoping she could go down there, but there ain't nothing down there. I doubt any of it is textured anyway. Why would they? I think you end up down here later, so maybe. Oh, well, let's get back. Uh, clip your ass back up there. Oh, yeah, I turned it off. Oh, isn't that scary? So now I'm locked out. See, if I didn't have the ability to turn it back on, I would be stuck here. Oh, look at all this. Oh, this is where we end up later. I don't want to know. Let's not do that. All right. Let's get her through here. That's fine. Like nothing happened. Uh oh. Wait, hold on. Uh oh, I done bricked the damn thing. Hold on. What'd I do? What did I do, Jill? She's now on a lower floor. Interesting. How does this shit work? That's so weird. So I can't get her back? I might have to reload here. This is what happens when you fuck around with time and space. Shenanigans are bound to unfold. I can't get her on this. Yep, these stairs, these stairs have no collision. Alright, time to load. <laughs> Could have been worse. At least the game didn't crash. <coughs> So I ended up underneath here. Persistent. He's tired of me breaking the game's boundaries. He's like, you better cut it out. Man, she got goosebumps on her ass. This mod's amazing. Look at that. She got goosebumps on her ass. You scared, Jill? I don't blame you. I'd be scared, too, if a giant trash bag was trying to strangle me. Holy moly, I'm going to have to play this with one hand. Again. She's just going to have a big bruise right above her vajibi da ba Okay.
Was it up? Uh oh, she's moving too slow. I think he's gonna catch her. He almost caught her. The frames dropped too low. He almost caught her there. That was close. That made me pucker my butthole a little bit. Oh, did I say it out loud? I'm sorry. I'm really not though. Language Jill. I never even looked over here before to see like what's going on. Let's see. What are these guys doing? Oh, he just stops. He's done. Okay, what about these guys? There they go. No collision? No collision. Well, I got the... Oh! Okay. So they did their thing and that's it. Alright. Pretty standard stuff. Add a little spice to the environment. Pretty cool. Let's see what's inside the liquor store. Huh? Wow, look at that. See, you would have never seen this before. Some lonely guy, Capcom. <laughs> you would have, you never would have seen that. They actually have like liquor bottles and stuff in here. The attention to detail in the strangest of places that you would never see normally in the game. Nah. That's crazy. That's actually a fucking store in there. What about over here? Okay, there ain't nothing over here. Nothing too interesting to see over there. Let's clip through the vehicle. This is completely canon. See, Jill just has the ability to phase through matter because she has a little bit of the T-virus. It allows you to phase through Capcom. Let's go into the coffee shop. Get a shot of espresso. Whoa, this place is ruined. I think she's clipping through the floor. That's not good. I better hurry up and trigger this cutscene. Interesting. Alright. There, she's back now. Thanks for waiting, Brad, while we did that. Appreciate you and the zombies waiting for us. Brad! Here they come! He stood there for a good ten minutes. But as soon as they saw Jill, they were like, oh, hell yeah, let's go. There's so many. I found something I want to bite now. Rawr. We know how this ends. No, I 
don't. Are we still a team? Always. Then do me a favor. Don't fuck up like I do. Go! You... Don't look like there's nothing down there. Sorry. So this is on standard, so there's going to be less enemies here. And she's invincible, so it's all right. What else we got here? Player speed, hide, hol hide holstered weapon, really? You see, they can't bite her, so. Hmm. They can't bite her. Whoa, they went poofy poof. There's the RPD. Again, the game could crash at any minute, so don't be surprised. Get a nice little look at the RPD. And all its uh, not finished glory. No main entrance. The inside's probably got nothing in it. Yeah. But cool little thing they put in there. You get to come here later, so it'll be fully rendered later, but. And of course the car park. Unfortunately, this game doesn't have many things to see. Like there's some games you can break and find stuff, but this game's pretty simple in its execution. It's just reuse assets and a lot of making stuff disappear. That's pretty much all probably gonna see. But I've always wanted to do this, so I said fuck it. We can uh, there's a game speed option too. Let's see here. Uh no recoil, firing speed, reloading speed, pretty standard stuff there. Never dirty, you can make it so she's always wet. Round, auto dodge, skip cutscene, skip radio. Hide UI, game speed. Let's increase it to uh, something stupid. <laughs> oh, that's much better. Look at this. <laughs> Woo! We'll blaze through this game. Speed run time. I wonder if this is going to fuck up scenes like this. <laughs> oh, he's actually still in here. I really thought he would despawn. He's actually in here holding the door. This is a weird game. So they bothered to do that when you would never see this. You would never ever see this unless you clip through this door. Normally you can't see in there. That's crazy. Sir, what's your name? I can't just leave you behind. It's Dario Rosso. And yeah, right. 
You just want to steal my safe house. Get your own, Missy. Missy? This is an amazing attention to detail. I mean, they even animated it right. Were they planning to show this at some point? Would you please calm down? I'm a police officer. I'm here to help you. <laughs> oh yeah, you've been doing a bang up job. You wanna help? Go handcuff yourself to one of those freaks. Oh, that's cool. Here go the doggies. So do they attack? Nope, they're just set pieces. It's over here. Hmm. Where's infinite ammo? Actually, there's infinite ammo guns in the game. They can be killed! Huh. Interesting. Okay, I don't want her clipping through the fucking... Pardon me, zomboys. I'm just doing a little exploring. Boy, Raccoon City seen better days. Oh, he just wants a hug, Jill. Garbage man's back. Sorry. Come on. Start, damn it. It's my turn, bitch. Hiya. Jokes on Nimmy. Jill's in the choking.
Don't forget to pop your spine back into place, Jill. hero. I think we're in the clear. Hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. She ain't oh, the touchy feely type. Who's the dipshit to close this? Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. Hey, what do you know about that monster? Nothing. I've never seen anything like it. But it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Don't you like that in a man? No thanks. He's all yours. <laughs> Listen, I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. UBCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this! Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? But you don't have to trust me, but I'm going to the shelter. You coming? Come on, it's this way. He wouldn't have won if I was able to clip. an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS Platoon Leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. All right. Really took a chunk out of you. Nothing that I will do. Ooh, sorry about that. It's 
So let's see what's going on in this car. Okay, we got a couple, couple people in here. Surprisingly high texture. And all unique. And there's a wall. I like this one because it doesn't have her clipping through the floor unless of course you're stepping somewhere you're not supposed to which I think is great Jill it's me again you topside yet won't need none of this crap Oh, you know we're about to explore the hell out of Raccoon City. I don't need auto dodge. Dodging ain't too hard in this game, but I will give her infinite ammo. You can make her vomit on the dime. Oh, jeez. Gross. <laughs> Here we go. And you can give her any item. That you want. So I give her the hot dodger. Rocket launcher, grenade launcher. And then boom, it's that easy. You can also delete items, inventory. You can have infinite items if you want. You can mess with the ESP. This is the uh, camera. But for this, I would definitely need to shrink this thing a little bit so I can see but this is where you do the camera stuff or like the butt shots and stuff and then you can just play around with this move it forward back or whatever but I have a more detailed one separate from this I may show in the distance I mean in the future this is not the most advanced one And then you know you can push put it to the, the middle, whatever. And if you want, you can put it up or down. So if you want it on her ass, that's how you do that. You can also have to do the same thing while aiming. So if you want to like put it in close, boom, just like that. Open all difficulties, down Nemesis Cow, healing. And this is just statistic stuff. Standard. I don't know if changing the difficulty in the middle of the game is a good idea. And fix the low animation frames. One enemy kill, invisible enemies. You can increase their speed, their health. Limbs break off easily. and stuff like that so that's pretty much the gist of it I'll do the character swap stuff later so yeah like if you want to you know those nice close shots 
That's how you do it. It's easy as that. What the? Oh, she clipped through the floor. Well, now we're underneath Raccoon City, so now we're stuck. Oh, wait. We came back here. Maybe it ain't safe to leave that shit on. Let's see, if I take her back here, I can reset her position. That's ridiculous. So any weapon I get, of course, will be infinite. Her firing speed is, is just ridiculous. You can never come through here. Normally she would die. But because we have invincibility on, she can actually skip this whole section. But I don't know what that would do to the game. Because I have done skip parts before, and normally what happens is the game soft locks. And we don't want the game to soft lock. By skipping shit. Skipping a loading trigger. Oh, that was a bad dodge. Hold on, let me try again. So I'm gonna start capping their legs, see if they get this dismembered easy. Yep. That's handy. Oh, he's got no legs. There go his arms. How does he bite you with no arms? He's got one arm now. Still just wants to eat you. You gotta admire that dedication. No arms. Oh, they poofed for a second. Can you blow off all their limbs? I think they die automatically when you do that. Oh, shit.
This one has no legs and no arms. She is done for. That is brutal. Holy shit, I never feel bad for a zombie before. It's over. She can't do nothing. <laughs> Look at this. I have to see it. I, I've never seen it before. I've got to see what the animation looks like when she bites you. I gotta turn invincibility off. I know I could hotkey this, but that's all right. Where is invincibility? I got. I got to see this animation in action. Because I'll never get a limbless zombie like this ever again. That's it? <laughs> it's doing damage though. Just so they just take little nips at you, huh? Interesting. Moons Donuts. Can sneak past here before you even get the the bolt cutters. Snag yourself a grenade early. Got 99 of them. I got 999 of them. That's insane. Lord have mercy. That grenade took out a whole lot. Oh, this is great. I don't even know if dodging does extra damage or not. I'm gonna get my shotgun early. Sneak in here. Oh wait, I think I need the uh, the bolt cutters though. Damn. At least the mod for the shotgun's working. That zombie didn't trigger yet. Go into the shop early. See the rest of the shop here. This is the main entrance. Got a few little toys here. This that's the bear from Resident Evil 7. Nothing but bears. Interesting. But not much else to see. Mm 
<laughs> All right, that's it for here. There's the power station. That's where we're heading to over there. Not loaded in yet, though, but that, that is actually where we're heading, I think. Well, it just loaded in now. No, wait. What section is this? Oh, wow. This is all the way after the Nimi fight, I think. Boy, we skipped far ahead. Yeah, you don't normally come here till way later. Yeah, right back here on the roof. But none of it's triggered yet. Sorry about the dip it is, but uh, I am breaking the game here. Really do. Station. I don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way. What a dick. And of course, he disappears mad quick. Where did he go? Devastating, ain't it, Jill? Oh. 
Everyone's favorite cutscene. Wonder if parasites can still kill you. Let's speed this up a little. <laughs> oh, this is great. I've never even done stuff like Oh my god, look how Flashy Clash climbed the damn ladder. Oh my, oh my lord, she's clipping. She's tripping. I don't know where the hell she is. Wait, did I turn? Did I turn? Uh... I accidentally saved a screenshot. Didn't mean to do that. Did I turn it off? I sure did. Lovely, Jill. That's the smoothest we've ever gone through there. Damn, this thing even has jiggle physics. Good lord, good jiggle physics too. The kind you tell your stepdad about, you know? All right, let's see. See if Nimmy's waiting behind the wall here. He's not even spawned in. At what point does he spawn in, I wonder? He comes out of here.
Ooh, that's some stankin' breath. Smell like a cactus's asshole. Wait, did I say cactuses? That didn't make any sense. I gotta stop drinking. He's frustrated. He can't figure it out. Look at him, he's pissed up. <laughs> Man, that made his ass yeet out of here. So it looks like Nemesis doesn't spawn over unless you hit that door. So he's not chasing me here. So he doesn't trigger unless you go through that door. Interesting. Oh, I was wrong. to me. Whoops. Yeah, this is a special mod for this gun. It looks fantastic. Yep, that crashed the game. Uh, <laughs> I should have known that would crash the game. Yep, that crashed the game. Welcome, stranger. Resident Evil 3 Remake Trainer. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling that would, something would cause it. All right, so the one last thing I want to look at, we could explore more and stuff if you want in the future. I just wanted to kind of show the little bit of fun you can have with the trainer. This only scratches the surface of the kind of goofy nonsense you can get up to. I'm just showing the basics. But if you're really good, you can do all kinds of stuff. However, I just, I'm curious about this... Uh, I'm curious about this player swap thing and how the hell it, it can happen without freezing. So how does that work now? I'm guessing you gotta maybe reload. No. Well, I may have to figure out how to use that because I don't.
All right, well, let's make it. Okay, okay. Now, all right, I'm pressing it, but nothing's happening, so. All right, I'm gonna have to look into the character swap. I might be missing something to be able to activate that. Oh no, there it is. There it is. So there's Carlos. <laughs> okay so that worked let's see so let's try Jill zombie again okay that just teleports her back to Jill but it might be because I have a modded outfit on that this ain't working. So let's see if I swap the uh, costume out. If that'll do something. Oh no, the mod's still... Mod's still doing its thing. Okay. Let's try Tyrell. Oh yeah, Tyrell doesn't seem to work at all. Because he's not a playable character, so I was kind of confused. I'm like, he's not playable in the game, so... I wasn't sure how that was going to work without some advanced scripts or something. Yeah, that's not going to happen. That's crazy. Now I'm afraid none of these really work. That's unfortunate. Only Carlos works because he's actual playable character. I don't know, it's kind of weird. It's not working for Carlos now. Oh. Wait, what the hell? Oh, I see. You know what? I'm going to take the mod off and see if that's what's doing this. I'll be right back. All right. So let's try this one last time. Mod's been taken out. Alright, Vanilla Jill, now let's try,
Alright, nothing. Well, we know Carlos works for sure, so let's try him. Okay, he works. Nope, there's... Oh, yeah. There's Jill Zombie. Okay, I see it now. So that is her zombified face. Okay, there it is. Alright, let's try Tyrell now. Although I don't see how that's remotely possible. Holy fuck! I will eat my words. How? He must just use... No, he's got his own running animations. Was he... What? What? What kind of hoodoo are these modders doing now? Does he have his own sound quip still? He does! He sure does! That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm impressed. It's probably something simple too. I'm just complicating it. Well, if you can play as him, I don't see why the rest of them can't be. Who else we got? Jill, no gear. Okay. I mean, I got plenty of naked Jill mods already. Oh. I kind of like that. But it doesn't make sense because where's she going to put her guns? But that's cool. Okay. Nikolai. Get to play as this piece of shit. This is on standard and he's this aggressive? Oh yeah, he is going slow. <laughs> well, this is some wild shit. I wonder if they work in the cutscenes. Mikhail, Brad, Murphy. Really? This is crazy.
I will admit it's nice to hear him scream though. Treacherous bastard. Oh, isn't this weird? Looking at his own corpse. <laughs> that is fucking wild. Imagine just coming in and finding your own body in a heap of blood on the floor. This is absolutely phenomenal. You can literally do a US... Like, you can play as all of them. That's great. We gotta check out Brad Zombie. He's gonna die again. What a sad fate. Oh wait, nope. Tough. <laughs> the game thinks I'm doing so bad to change offer to change difficulty. Now I'm just goofing off. Oh hell yeah. Zombie Brad in the house. Looking fantastic. This was not in my plans. I didn't even know this was a thing. I don't think you can counter Nemesis with this move. Because none of these guys are ever supposed to fight him, so. Alright, well that's cool. Let's see, I think the last one I want to check out is... Uh, the police officer? Because I just, I'm curious to see who the hell, what police officer it's going to be. I, I, I left the hot spot where you could switch easily. A zombie being eaten by a zombie. <laughs> Looks like Resident Evil 3 has more to offer than I thought. Just some generic police officer. He's got a different voice, though. If y'all want to see a playthrough with these characters, let me know. Although most people watch this channel for the titty, so I have my doubts.
Oh no, he doesn't have a different voice. Well, that is very, very cool. All right, so that's going to conclude this. Uh, just a little behind the scenes here. Of course, I'm not going nearly as deep as I could have, but this has already been long enough. But this is just a few of the cool things you can do. So hopefully you guys will go down to Nexus, download the framework, or go to the framework's website. It can be very easily found. I cannot leave links here, as YouTube will hate me for it. So I'm sorry, I would just leave a link, but it's not hard to find. Just go to Nexus, go to Resident Evil, you'll find it. It's one of the first mods you'll find on the most popular. Download it, put the deal file in the directory, and you will have access to all this good stuff. And then download the trainer, and download some other stuff. You can do a lot more. Anyway, I'm sobering up. Bye.